Uh, my name is Greg Reyes and I'd like to demonstrate PickMe Photo Sharing. PickMe Photo Sharing is a free desktop application that allows you to view, share, and discover photos. Let me show you what I mean. So here we're looking at a collection of photos that I have on my computer and I can easily scroll through that view and what we're doing is we're showing a new unique 3D view that allows you to see deep into the stacks of photos uh, kind of the way you would look at photos um, before we had folders, file folders. So you're actually looking at stacks of images. So I can uh, take any stack and I can use the plus minus and I can scroll through that stack. Uh, I can also uh, click on a stack uh, to view those images. So it makes it really easy to view very large collections of images. I no longer have to hunt through folders to find stuff. I can literally uh, scroll my way through photos and see very large collections of photos and be able to find the image that I want. So not only can I see my stacks this way, uh, but if I have folders, I can actually expand those and uh, filter down. So if I only want to see Australia photos, or photos from Italy, or photos from Peru, I can quickly do that. And again, I can access my photos very quickly, so I can narrow down in scope, and I can view images as well. So PicMe is a fabulous photo browser. Uh, you know, we, we think it's one of the best photo browsers out there, and certainly one of the fastest. Uh, but what really sets PicMe as apart is its ability to share. Uh, so let me show you what I mean. So here uh, we have a collection of friends and groups. And so anybody with an email address uh, can be added as a friend. And the photos that I have of friends um, show kind of a similar relationship. So I can see the sharing relationship I have with someone. So here I've selected a contact and I'm able to see the photos that are shared to me and I can also see the photos uh, that are shared from me. So the experience is very similar. Now the first images I was showing you were coming from my local computer but these images are actually coming from the internet. And so as I click on them we're actually loading them from the internet. And so what you'll see really quickly is that we're showing very high quality images. We're not showing small web images but we're really showing you uh, great quality images. I can even go full screen so you see what I'm talking about. And again, these images are streaming off uh, the internet. I haven't cached them to my computer. Uh, they're coming in as I'm doing this. We're actually prefetching images as we go. So I can see all my contacts. I can see the images. Again, I've clicked on my sister Jane and I can see the photos uh, that I have shared to her and that she has shared to me. So she shared a couple of photos to me and I've shared some photos to her. So any photo, again, I can click on it and I can see the high quality version of it. Uh, this is a photo that she took and she shared with me. This is my daughter, Emily. And uh, we can do the same thing for groups. So I can create a family group and uh, I can see the photos that have been shared to me and that I have shared to this group as well. So how do you actually share an image? So let's go ahead and show you an example of that. So if I see an image that I like, uh, I can simply take it and uh, drag it. So I can drag it to a contact and I can drop it and it gives me the option if I want to share one image or if I want to share the entire stack. So I'm going to go ahead and share one image. And so normally when you're sharing images uh, through email or something like that, you'd have to open up your email program, uh, find the image somewhere on your computer, attach it, compose a message, send it. And when the recipient gets it, uh, it's kind of hard for them to view it, it's hard for them to view the stacks. And so we've kind of made that all automatic. Simply by dragging a photo to a person, uh, I've shared it and that person's going to get an email notification telling them that they have new photos. Uh, so it's really as simple as that. I can also use the share button on the toolbar and what that will do is it'll allow me to uh, select multiple people. So say I want to share this photo with a couple people. I could check off their names and I also have the option to share the entire stack if I want to. Uh, again, really easy, uh, very quick to be able to share images. So uh, I've shown you how you can browse and view photos. Uh, I've shown you how you can share. Uh, but one of the things that you want to do is you want to get the photos onto your computer. 
Uh, so let me show you an example of that. One of the things that we're introducing with this new version of PickMe is the ability to work with cameras and devices. So I'm going to go ahead, I have a Canon camera here, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And uh, you see I have a node here called cameras and devices. And so we support uh, digital picture frames, we support uh, CDs, removable media, uh, cameras. And so when I click on this camera, uh, we're going to access the camera and we're going to do something very unique, something that uh, no other photo program out there is doing right now. And we're going to organize the photos that were on this camera by day. So if I took some pictures on uh, New Year's and I took other pictures on Thanksgiving, it's actually going to organize them so that I can view them in stacks. I don't have to do organization in this program. It's all done for me. So if I want to view it by day, I can do that. If I want to view it in a single day, I can do that as well. Uh, I can preview my images uh, directly on the camera so I don't have to download everything if I don't want to. Uh, I can even... Uh, take one image, even without removing it from the camera, I can just drag it to uh, one of my contacts, one of my friends and family. Uh, but let's go ahead. Uh, if I wanted to copy these, I could click the copy button, uh, and it's going to ask me for a name. So this is my daughter, Emily, so I'm going to type in Emily. I'm going to click OK. And so we're importing those photos. You can see that progress happening. And as soon as we've done that, uh, we'll bring us back uh, to the photo collection. We can see those on my computer. Uh, so very quick, very easy. Uh, we've imported those photos. And again, now I have them on my computer. I can do whatever I like with them. I can view them in high quality. I can share them. Uh, you know, I can basically interact with them very quickly. Uh, so like I said, we support digital cameras, we support uh, some digital picture frames, we support removable media and other mass storage devices as well as photo CDs. Uh, so I've shown you browsing of photos, sharing images, uh, I've shown you how you can get your photos onto your computer directly from your digital camera. Uh, let me show you one more thing, uh, and that's online services. So there's lots of online services out there, and I'm going to show you two in particular today. And those are Flickr and Facebook. Uh, so right now, if you want to browse photos on Flickr or Facebook, you have to go to the website generally. Uh, so we wanted to bring those photos directly into the application, directly into the desktop, and make it much easier for you to browse those in high quality. Uh, so let me show you an example of that. Uh, I've already authorized or connected uh, Facebook to my account. It's a very simple process. And so once you've done that, you can actually see all the photos that you have in your account. So I can see my own photos and I can also see the photos in which I appear. So these are photos where someone has tagged me. They're not part of my own collection, uh, but they're someone else's photos where they have marked, uh, marked me as being in the photo. I can also expand the node and I can see all of my friends, all of the people who are in my Facebook list uh, who have photos as well. So again, I can select uh, anybody from this list uh, and we will load those photos from Facebook. And again, we're doing this in high quality. We're going directly over the web uh, and we're giving you a really quick, really easy to use uh, viewing experience. Uh, so my friend Joel uh, just got back from his honeymoon and I can quickly go on Facebook and I can see uh, photos. Uh, not only can I see his photos, uh, but I can also see photos in which he appears. So it makes it really easy to browse images, uh, very quick uh, to be able to uh, see all your friends and see all the photos that they're taking. I don't have to go to another website, I can do it right from PickMe. We've also done the same thing with Flickr. Uh, so I can, again, see all my Flickr collections. And again, we're streaming this right off of the web. So, uh, you know, I can click on any collection and I can see those photos coming in from Flickr. And not only can we see my own photos, same as in Facebook, I can also see uh, photos that someone else has taken.
And again, we're looking at thousands of images. Um, that's really one of the things that sets Pick Me apart is that we're able to deal with very large collections of photography. We like to call it the lifetime of photography. You know, your entire life in photos, we can easily handle that. Not only can we handle your own lifetime, we can handle other people's as well. So this is one of my friends and I can see his photos. I can click off on someone else and I can see their photos as well. Uh, so that's basically how PickMe works. Um, it's available today from pickme.raiselabs.com. It's absolutely free. You can download it, play around with it, and explore it. Uh, we do have uh, basic and pro services if you want to upgrade and do more than the basic service, more than the free service. Uh, and thank you so much for listening.